Final Fantasy XIV has sort of undergone a lot of, uh, you know, bashing and all that because it sort of launched as a really bad game, and it's been getting better over time. Um, but the one really strong aspect of Final Fantasy XIV is the screenshots. They're really, really cool. Um, the screenshot feature in the game, just hit, you hold scroll lock, hit print screen after that, takes a very nice screenshot, gets rid of all of the HUD, and you can maybe use it for your wallpaper, or use it to uh, create a wallpaper as I did here. But the uh, one the one really bad thing about this screenshot is that it has this uh, copyright 2010-2011 Square Enix Co. LTD, all rights reserved, <clears throat> in this bottom left hand corner. And um, this tutorial is going to tell you how to get rid of it. You can use a free program, which I will use in this video called GIMP. Uh, this tutorial should apply exactly to Photoshop, though I have Photoshop on my laptop, so I'm very familiar with using it. Um, and I'm pretty certain this will uh, apply to that as well. Now, bear in mind, I am winging this tutorial, so if I mess up here or there, it's not because, you know, I don't know how to do it. It's just, you're going to mess up. It's going to take some trial and error to do this. Uh, so what you need to do is launch it in GIMP or Photoshop, whichever you're using. And we'll wait for this to happen. Alright, so we have it in GIMP, and the primary tool we're going to be using is the uh, cloning tool, right here. This is the same exact tools in uh, Photoshop as well. Um, I know a lot of people prefer using the healing brush, which is also here, but uh, I think the cloning tool personally is better than the healing brush. I don't like it. I think the healing brush takes too much of the, um, the effort out of it and doesn't do a very good job of it. So um, what we're going to be using is the clone brush to uh, just sort of clone over elements and try to fake the scenery. It won't be perfect, but it will be a very decent job. And for the average viewer, it's going to hide this little text right here. So what I like to do first off is duplicate this layer, because if I mess up, I want to be able to go back to the original without having to reload the image. If I mess up, like if I, uh, if I, if I for instance, get rid of my undo history, then I've messed it up and I can't go back anymore. So uh, things like that. So. Because of how sh uh, small this text is, you can use a relatively short brush or small brush like I am right here. Um, usually, when you're working with the uh, the clone tool, you're going to be using a soft edge brush like this, um, which you can't see there. Um, well, it's going to have a soft edge around it. Um, the reason I'm not doing that is because it's such a short brush that would just that would make it more of a trouble, anyways. It's such a small brush, anyways. So I feel that using a hard brush for this particular type of text is pretty easy. Um, but just bear in mind, usually whenever you use the clone brush tool, you're going to be using it with a soft edge because you're going to be doing a much larger area with it. But if you're doing something this small, it doesn't matter. Um, so hold down Alt, or, well, Control, no wait, which one is it? Oh wait, okay. Control, I didn't have the window selected. I believe in Photoshop it's Alt, and if you're a Mac OS X it is the Apple key, I'm pretty certain about that. Um, or command key now on the new new keyboards for uh, the, the Mac products. Um, and so you're using the control key to sort of select a sample area of where you want to or what you want to replace over here. So if I were to click, it would basically just replace it with whatever that. That actually did a pretty pretty decent job right there. Um, but I like to grab usually something closer to the area like this, and um, just sort of blend it in like that to create sort of um, a nice little cover up job right there. So usually you just take a look at what's around the text and try to grab something that's similar to that and make lots and lots of clicks. Um, you can drag it, you'll see like this, but um, I, don't, I don't prefer doing that. I just prefer grabbing one area like this and then just sort of lightly clicking that area to, to get rid of the text. And this can work over some really, really complex images as well. Um, well, messing up there. Um, you can do this on some pretty complex images. As, I mean, I I, feel, I would feel this is pretty complex for using the uh, the cloning tool, anyways. This is a pretty complex image, so uh, there's lots of different sand, dirt, and all that. And, and the one nice thing about fourteen is that there's just a lot of variety in the in the graphics. Um, it's not very dull, like in WoW. It's not the same grass texture over and over and over again. There's a lot of detail in it. Um, and that's something I really like about the game. Is just that every area looks unique so the problem with that is that when you're doing this it's going to make it take a little bit longer to uh, to fix because you also have to sort of match the art style of the game and that's going to be a bit of an issue
And so what we're doing here is basically just doing this throughout all of the text. Um, and every so often you're going to want to sort of scroll back and see does that look right. And to me that looks a bit bad down there. Um, so I may go about lowering the opacity now of the brush and grabbing something like sand or water or uh, grass over here. It's a little too much. And maybe here I would also use the uh, the softer edge brush to sort of just patch in some grass here to add some variety. Um, because like I said, there's a lot of detail in the environment for 14. And you want to try to mimic that as much as you can. Um, and one way to do that is just to mess with the opacity tool and uh, sort of get that down. Opacity and soft edge as well, so you can just sort of patch it in there a little bit at a time. I think that that looks right now a bit more natural in the scenery than what we had before. Um, and you're basically just going to go through all the text and just do this. So I'm going to do sort of, um, I don't know if I can really do a time lapse, but I think I'll just probably jump cut to right where I'm at the end of this. Because uh, you should get the gist of how to, how to do this now. I think I covered the basic premise of it. And there we go. Took me all of about two minutes to knock out the remaining bit of that, since I didn't have to explain any of it. Um, and you can see the uh, job here, so let me um, untick this, tick it, I mean, it looks, scrolling right here, it looks, I mean, pretty natural, I mean, this is the one bad spot, and I think it did a decent, no a decent enough job covering that up, that it looks a bit natural now. To me, it just, it looks like, you know, I just, that's just a layer, and I'm ticking on and off the text when I'm really not. Um... I think it's a pretty decent job. Let me scroll in so you guys can see this exactly what's happening. So you see the uh, the environment changed a little bit, um, like right around here, for instance. If you look at that area. Um, but I mean, if you didn't see this text here beforehand, I think this area would have looked natural enough to uh, to have fooled someone into thinking there was never anything there to begin with. And so yeah, if you take, uh, you know, and this works for a lot of different things, this is a lot of uses, but specifically I'm doing this for a Final Fantasy XIV tutorial because I don't like this. I wish they never did this. I would just like to take a nice screenshot, use it as a wallpaper maybe, and be on my merry way. But instead, you know, you have to go through a lot of uh, loops to just remove that text alone. So inconvenience, but um, if you want to make your screenshots, you know, look pretty nice. And if you're, if you're, if you go to Massively, for instance, um, Massively.com, they, they'll do something called one shots which is just you show them really nice screenshots but uh, and I've done this before I've sent in a, I sent in a Christmas image over massively and that, that actually got used but their strict policy is to not have no HUD elements at all so you'd have to remove that so it has it has quite a few uses if anything you know something you know how to do something that you didn't know how to do before pretty simple and um, yeah I hope you learn something from it